All right. <clears throat> so this is my John Deere M. Picked it up maybe two months ago and it would not run. It had considerable leaks and just not in good shape uh, to say the least. So here it is after a couple of months, um, all new terminals, new battery tray, new battery, uh, new carburetor. The one that was on there was pitted. Um, there's no air filter in this. It's actually just oil. Um, and then around here, a new generator. Had to get a new fan back there. If you see that, uh, replace that. Replace the ignition coil. Distributor was fine, but the points were pitted. I had to replace those. And then all the gauges were shot. Uh, there was actually a bracket right here. They had a voltage regulator on it. Uh, if you look at the original uh, wiring schematic, there is no voltage regulator on these. It's uh, a battery cutoff switch. Uh, so anyway, got the old pressure gauge on there, uh, cleaned it all up, degreased it, painted it, and this is what it looks like now. New gauge is here, and according to the manual, the water temperature gauge is on top, ammeter gauge or not ammeter but ampere uh, mechanical gauge is there and then there's your switch so the way that you start it and i'll try to do this with one hand is you've got off and then you've got ignition right here um, and that's for lights low lights high and then lights off if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's that's really it. So I'll try to what the heck, I'll try to start it. So so make sure it's out of gear. You're really supposed to sit on it. Um like that. Here's your uh switch. All it does is it's a mechanical lever, it pushes down on this, makes contact with that. Um, actually, I gotta hook the battery up real quick. A little spark, because I've got the ignition on. Should crank up pretty easily. Let's see. Out of gear. Ignition is on. Choke out. Difficult to do it one-handed. 